the measure area tool you can get to that tool in your main toolbar right here measure area or you can go to your construction toolbar and get the measure area tool here now you have a few different methods you have element so if you had a enclosed shape you can identify that shape and it would give you the area of that particular item you have intersection union and difference which deals with actual shapes that were out there where they kind of overlapped those are some options with those I'm not really going to talk about any of those but you can look at those at your own leisure and then also the flood method and points which we'll go over those two mostly in detail because those are probably the ones that get used most often in production so we're going to go ahead and leave it set to the flood method for right now and I'm going to go ahead and zoom into a certain area here you have the options of mass properties and displayed centroid I'm not going to really worry about those too much I'm not going to worry about this about global Z where you can change it to view Z and so forth we're just going to leave those set you have the option underneath your area unit you can change it from square foot to acres whether it's international or survey acres and also your perimeter unit where you can change it from survey feet to international feet or inches or in metric for meters or millimeters now if we're ready to measure a certain area and we'll talk about these options later on all you need to do is left click inside of an area enclosed area to get that particular area so I'll left click inside this area here and then I'll left click again to accept it and you'll see that down in your status bar once I left click to accept it it shows you how many square feet it is and also survey feet for the for that perimeter around it now if I want to change that on the fly to maybe see what the acreage is I could do that also and it changes it to survey acres so kind of keep that option in the back of your head whenever you're utilizing this tool like I said simply left click inside the area if it finds an enclosed shape you'll see a box around left click to accept it and you're finished gives you that square footage of that particular area now if you change it from your method from flood to points we could do points also so let's say I want to measure maybe this area right in between here on this particular parcel we could do that but since it's not an enclosed area we'd have to use the points method so we'd snap to our first point go to our next point travel around basically connect points around that particular shape once we're finished with it we'll right click to reset it and it'll give you this, that particular area and also the perimeter of that area that you defined so you can do it by the points method also just like the way I'm doing it right now once you're traveling around it right click to reset it gives you that area and the perimeter of that shape that you identified by the points I'm going to go ahead and change it back to my flood method in here you do have the option that says in locate interior shapes and if you had interior shapes inside here it would locate those I'm going to go ahead and place a block out here for maybe an, a building or a house and I come back into my tool if I don't have that check marked on that locate interior shapes and I left click inside this area here shows me the area that's going to try to flood that's what I want I'll left click to accept it gives me the square footage of that particular shape there now if I click on the one that says locate interior shapes and I do the same thing it'll try to find those shapes that are inside the area and subtract them out so if I left click to accept it now it gives me a different square footage because it, it saw this shape saw this circle and it saw this shape and subtracts out those particular areas for that fill that you're doing and then last but not least you do have the option that says dynamic area I'm going to go ahead and uncheck, uncheck the one that says locate into your shapes and if you have the dynamic area checked on as you move your mouse around you'll notice that it's, it's automatically going to identify the enclosed area for that particular flooded area that you're trying to flood 
so you can kind of already see it out there. So if that's what I want, left click to identify it. Again, left click to accept it and gives you that flooded area. But with the dynamic area, it also allows you to measure multiple filled areas in at one time. So let's say this person right here, let's say he owned this part, this parcel right here, maybe this one here, this one right here, this one right here, and maybe another one over here. And I want to measure all those at one time. We could do that. What you would do is left click inside your first area, and then now if you hold your control key down on your keyboard, it'll actually add to your set, just like the way I'm doing it right now. As long as you have your control key held down and left click inside those areas, it's going to do them all. So once you have all those selected, let go of your control key, and then now go ahead and left click out on the blank screen to accept it, and it's going to give you that area for those, all those parcels that you had. And since they did not connect, you're not going to get a perimeter, but if they happen to all connect, like what I do here, and I left click to accept it, it would also give you that perimeter. So those are some of the options underneath your measure area tool that you can utilize whenever you're doing your plans production or if you're trying to get areas for maybe seating and mulch or um, concrete or other items that you want to do for your plans.